If you've been training for a little bit and heard a few coaches around the traps, you've probably heard the term resilience training. Now, what we mean when we talk about resilience training is physically making something stronger or making it more robust. And when we make something stronger, we can do that in a compound nature and think of that as a total body. You know, if we squat, we bench press, we deadlift, we are making our entire system stronger. But whenever we do big compound movements, there are always muscles that tend to want to work a little bit harder than other muscles. And we need to be aware that when you're playing specific sports or you've had specific injuries previously, that there is a tendency to have muscles that tend to become the weakest link in our organism. And that's what resilience training is trying to target. Those weaker muscles or those ones that perhaps don't want to work in those big compound movements. So we look at things like a hamstring that can be torn very easily in games like soccer, AFL. Things like adductors also in soccer or things like ice hockey. We want to also look at the shoulder in throwing sports, baseball and cricket. And it's really important that as a part of our training, we also delve into the resilience aspect where we actually isolate areas and give it a little bit more capacity than you may get in bigger compound movements. So when we talk about resilience training and how it's going to help your career, it's about isolating those muscles that we know are at risk, adding more capacity to them through some more isolated movements to allow you to be more robust and more resilient as an athlete for your entire career.